welcome back to my channel so in today's video i thought i would film my second what i eat in a day video since i've started calorie counting so if you don't want to watch anything about calorie counting then just click off the video because that is exactly what this video is everything that i show you in this video is tracked and calorie counted so just a quick disclaimer last week i posted my first episode of this kind of series that I'm gonna be doing because I am gonna try and post one a week. And when I posted that video, I actually posted it a week after I'd filmed it. So a week of eating what I showed in that video, I actually lost eight pounds. Now that is not gonna be eight pounds of fat. That is pretty much impossible, especially for the weight I currently am to just then lose eight pounds in a week um, with the calories I was on. It would have mostly been like water weight and just like when you first lose weight, the first week is always like the biggest loss usually. So that's how much I, anyway I lost in my first week and that was positive to me. I was really happy with that. Second week, I forgot to film a video slash didn't have time for what I ate. And this week I lost, so week two, I've lost two pounds. So in total, I've lost 10 pounds since I started two weeks ago, which is really good. I'm gonna keep you updated every week as to kind of how I'm getting along and what's happening. But basically everything that I show you that I'm eating in today's video, I will pretty much, with the exception of a couple of days, be eating this exact, you know, meals, these exact food items. Um, I eat the same every day and I'm absolutely fine doing that. I really like doing that. I eat a certain amount of calories every single day for six days and then I have like a treat day on a Saturday. Today is actually a Saturday for me. So I'm going to be, you know, eating and not tracking my calories today. But I'm not going to go wild. Like I'm not going to just go and like eat loads of food. I just don't track my calories basically. So I am going to be filming tomorrow when I start... I'm back on track for week three. So in this video, you're gonna see day one of week three, effectively. I always start my day by having a coffee. I just love having a coffee in the morning. It's my favorite coffee of the day. And I use my coffee machine. I really like this. I got it from Amazon. It was half price. It was Black Friday or something. But yeah, I love my coffee machine. It's really, really good. I do weigh out everything. I weigh out my milk and the sugar that I have in the morning just so that I know 100% that I am being accurate. Today, I didn't actually fancy too much. So I didn't want to have like a big breakfast and every single day is exactly the same. Like I never am that hungry in the morning. So this is what I am going to have every single day. And I'm going to have one of these crumpets. They are Warburton's Crumpet Thins, they're actually new and they're less calories. So I just literally had one of these, a little bit of butter and a little bit of Marmite and that is all I have for breakfast. Like I don't get hungry in the morning. Excuse the noise of the kettle, but I had my breakfast this morning. It was very small. I'm not a breakfast person, but I've been getting on with some cleaning tasks and actually filming a cleaning video. So check that out if you haven't seen that. But I, I'm gonna have a little morning snack. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea, which is why the kettle is boiling. And I'm gonna have this Alpen light. It's a white chocolate and raspberry and shortcake um, cereal bar. I haven't tried this flavor, so I'm interested to see what it tastes like. It's only um, 67 calories, so just a nice little snack to have in the morning. And that's what I would normally have at work as well if I was at work eat exactly the same on the weekend as I do when I'm at work, when I'm calorie counting. I never really need like a big snack or anything. Um, just a little snack will do me. Really what I should have done if I was being good is I should have had some fruit with my breakfast and like maybe some cucumber with my snack this morning or some carrot or something just to kind of bulk out the snack. Cause I think that's what helps a lot when you're calorie counting is actually like having things is kind of bulking out your meal with um like low calorie healthy things like fruit and veg but i haven't done that today because i am short on time and i probably won't do that this week either because i bought raspberries sorry for putting you down there um i bought raspberries but i'm gonna have them with my pudding tonight as you will see oh sorry um so I'm not gonna have any now, um, but yeah, it's okay. I have a cup of tea with oat milk as well. I, when I started calorie counting, I did kind of weigh out the oat milk, but I roughly know how much like 
is a certain amount of calories now so I don't have to like weigh that out that's the good thing about like when you've been calorie counting a little while is things like milk you know in teas and things like that you don't have to measure out every single time i also don't really weigh out vegetables or salad or anything like that because it's such low calorie anyway and it's obviously good for you but things like cheese sauces um pasta rice i always weigh out 100 percent. so this is my little mid morning snack for today so for my lunch i try and go for kind of like a high volume meal but low calorie so i like to have a lot of vegetables and i chop up some pepper some cucumber some tomatoes beetroot some pickled gherkins and also some pickled onions so i've actually got pickled beetroot gherkins and onions which is a little bit of an overload i'm not gonna lie it is quite vinegary but it is nice um i also add in some couscous and also a poached egg as well and that tends to keep me quite full i really like that and it's super low calorie i only have a little bit of couscous um and i had one of these chocolates that was in a dairy milk box that my mum got me for easter in my last video i said that i would recommend downloading the app that i use i'll just get it up i think it's called yeah it's called my net diary and it's such a good app like i would highly recommend it i used to have my fitness pal and honestly i'm bored of that like i'm so bored of that i've tracked calories on there before and i find this um new app that i've got my net diary is so much easier to use you can be very precise and accurate with your um kind of grams of things and getting it precise with your calories it also remembers every food that you've had so you can um for example tomorrow i can log everything that i've eaten in the day and then the next day if i eat the same things i can just go back to the day before and click tick 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 for specific items that i've had so if i've missed out cheese i won't have to put the whole meal on i can take off cheese or something like that um it's just so good like i would recommend it just download it if you are obviously calorie counting um and see if you like it because it's a game changer for me i'm having a caramel rice cake and a cup of tea as like an afternoon snack before i do my workout so for my tea tonight i make some broccoli fritters now i actually really love these they taste really nice and it just involves chopping up half a thing of broccoli whatever it's called um boiling it and then also mixing together an egg salt and pepper and flour to kind of make like a little bit of a batter i don't have the exact recipe but if you wanted the exact recipe i will just put it in the comments um i also add a little bit of cheese as well and then once the broccoli is cooked i then add the broccoli to that batter mix and it kind of makes like a really nice um, batter for the fritters. It's almost like a pancake batter kind of thing, but obviously with broccoli. Um, so as you can see, I'm making it now. And it's only a little bit, like it's not much, um, but the broccoli obviously adds to the volume. Like the broccoli is what is the like the sustenance to this. I also have a poached egg on the side. I find with calorie counting, it is a lot easier when you have a lot of protein. And for me, eggs are great protein and they do really fill me up. If I ever have, you know, egg for breakfast, which is quite rare, but if I ever do, I really feel full for a very long time. But anyway, I'm just mashing up the batter this is what it looks like and then i just fry it in my frying pan just like this with a little bit of oil don't forget to count the calories in your oil because oil is super calorific um expialidocious uh, anyway sorry i had to do that um and i add on some beans on the side and a sugar-free tango and then for pudding which i like to have every night i use this halo top brownie ice cream this is my favorite i love it i just have 50 grams of that and then on the side i had some maryland little cookies like a little thing um and if i didn't have that i would have like a five of one brownie or something but i like to mix it up you know to keep myself interested so yeah it's now the evening i'm just dying my eyebrows by the way if you were wondering but i am having like a little snack in the evening i still have some calories left over which is good because i remember like a few years ago when i did this calorie can thing i would really struggle to kind of fit my calories within like the calorie goal that i currently have which is you know 
fairly low to be honest with you um but it's still okay like it's still okay um for a short period of time but it just shows like how much like you need to plan like what you're eating every single day and then you just know oh i will have calories left over later for a little snack and you know making sure that you're having you know protein you're eating fruit and vegetables and lots of it you're also having you know things like couscous or pasta or rice and you're also having treats and things that you can enjoy but they're not like really calorific treats they're like still really tasty things but just lower calorie and this evening i'm having this which is the skinny whip chocolate orange bar and it has about 79 calories in it or something and i really like this i was thinking last night when i had one oh it kind of reminds me like obviously it's not a mars bar or a milky whey bar or anything but it reminds me of something like that and i like it just as much if not more and it's like a quarter of the calories or something or half the calories i don't know um but it's just sometimes about going for those like lower calorie options really help um you know it's not you shouldn't have to i think when some people go wrong they might you know still have loads of treats and things um which is great but sometimes you do have to make the compromise of going for treats that are more kind of like substitutes so a little bit lower calorie and you still feel like you're having a nice treat um but it's just like not taking up all your daily calories on this current like diet i'm on i'm into my third week now and i've never felt like really 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 hungry i've just felt maybe a little bit hungry here or there and before i used to feel really 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 hungry so I'm definitely kind of glad of how things are at the minute. Also, I work now full time, whereas I didn't used to work when I did this before. And I think it helps to kind of keep your mind busy a little bit because often you can eat like boredom eat. But for me, I think the main, main thing is eating the same thing every day so that I don't have to retrack every last calorie and weigh everything and search everything every single day if I have a certain amount of food one day I know that that is the same calories the next day as long as everything weighs the same and it is the same so to me that that has been a game changer to be honest with you anyway so um yep yeah, I'm having this um if i don't have this which i am gonna have this but if i if it was another day i would either have that or i would have a little bag of my popcorn sweet and salty popcorn um either or i just hunted this tonight and i've also got a cup of tea which i'm having this evening as well it's like a little bunny rabbit and that is everything I'm eating today. And I've also been drinking water as well today, just in case I didn't really show that, but I didn't really think I needed to. So that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And that's everything that I'm gonna be eating this week. I will do another one of these next week if you like it, so please give the video a thumbs up. I will, in each video, give like my tips on how I'm getting along, um, you know, give you an update on my progress, and also just to kind of let you know on, I don't know, things that I've learnt maybe or yeah something I'm not so great at is drinking enough water I don't drink enough water and another thing just a slight last tip is make sure to track calories in your drinks um coffees I used to have one sugar in my coffee I do in the morning my morning coffee I will still have one sugar but it makes a massive difference like adding up through the day like I would have like three coffees in a day and two teas I don't have sugar in tea anyway but it does actually add up so I have three coffees still but two of those coffees are without sugar so they're not as nice but you know sometimes we have to make compromises weight loss your weight loss journey you have to be strict you have to be disciplined and you know you have to put every step in place to make sure that you are set for success and planning and preparation is key to that i might film a video where i show you like my kind of how i plan for my meals in the week or something like that if you want to see that but so far so good maybe next week i'll come back and tell you that you know oh i've ruined the whole thing you know i've given up blah 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 i don't think i will do that because my mindset is very much you know i'm i found it very easy so far so i'd be silly to ruin that um but yeah i'm very happy so thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video Thank you.